Hey guys, it's Lee from the Turquoise Valentine. Welcome, we're gonna do some fun outdoor crafting. Uh, if you're watching on the replay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this craft that I'm gonna do tonight. <clears throat> I've been preparing for it since this weekend. I went to Hobby Lobby, picked up some stuff, and I'm excited to do this for you. Um, hey, hey Rebecca. Say hey, once you hop on. Glad to see all my friends, it's Monday. Hey, Lenora, how are you? Hey, John. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Hey, Dina and Renee. I'm gonna say hey to my friends. Thank you, Dina, for the stars. Hey, Tammy and Liz. All right, guys, so we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do, I've tried to think of some stuff for outdoor um, stuff that we could do outside, you know, that put outside for decor. Hey, Regina and Myron and Peggy. Um, so, um, and as I, I bought this stuff Saturday at Hobby Lobby, and then I was scrolling through Facebook earlier, and I see where Barb at the Shabby Tree, that she did this on her blog. <laughs> and I was like, oh gosh, but we're going to do a little different spin on it, so I'm totally fine. Um, Barb has some good ideas. And she is very, very talented for sure. Um, hey, Linda and Delina. Thank you, Judy. Okay, so I was at Hobby Lobby Saturday all by myself, going down every aisle there was to go down, and looked went down them a couple of times probably, and um, looked at everything. And I had this idea that I wanted to do something with flower pots. So, like I said, Barb from the Shabby Tree did this on her blog, and I saw the post just a little bit earlier, and I was like, oh gosh, but it's okay. Yay, Darlene. Okay, so I got, this pot is a six inch pot and I wrote it down, let's see. It's a six inch pot and it was 237 at Hobby Lobby. They're not very inexpensive because my Walmart was totally sold out of them. And then this one is a four inch pot and it was $1.37 at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to stack them like this and I've got lines drawn because I've been playing with it. I've been playing with my paint colors too. Uh, and then this is one that came from Dollar Tree. I've had for a while. They come in that little pack of three or something. So this is that um, um, that little pack that comes with Dollar Tree. And it's a three inch pot. So if you wanted to buy it at Hobby Lobby, you could too. But I knew I had these. Um, so we are going to make a gnome. But we're going to make a patriotic gnome. Okay. Um, so we're going to paint this. Oh, good, Crystal. You got your stuff today. Hey, Leanne and Christina. Okay, so I'm going to start, I think, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out what part to do first because <laughs> it's got to dry and all this. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna start by painting the top two, which is going to be his hat. I'm going to start by painting them white so I'll have a good base. Hey, Melissa. Thank you, Linda. It's good to be back, too. Um, I'm getting back in the groove. I didn't have a very good weekend, though. I, I was in Hobby Lobby, and I saw something that made me think about Deidre and something that we used to do, we used to make a long time ago and sell, and it kind of got me all, all messed up from Saturday all day yesterday. I just miss her so bad. Um, oh, good, Kathy. And so... Uh, yesterday was bad for me <laughs> and that Saturday evening I was just depressed, but, but I did buy the things to do that craft with that she and I used to do, and I'm going to do it for y'all and show you, um, show you something that we used to do, um, a long time ago. So it is an outdoor craft too. So I got the things to do it and in honor of her, I'm going to do it. Hey, Lori. So I'm just gonna give this a good coat. This is my, I forgot to show you, just Waverly White, or you could use regular um, acrylic paint. It's totally fine. I was just hoping that one coat was gonna do it on this. Yes, a gnome can be made with these. You can make a gnome out of anything. <laughs> Y'all seen me make them out of cemetery plot flower holders before. Um, yay, Nancy, you got your fruit today. And I mailed out um, packages this morning that were from Thursday, all that was mailed. Um, and we got to draw, um, 
we got to draw a name for Happy Mail for the month of April. We're going to do that tonight, too. Thank you, Marie. So, I'm just going to give these a good coat of paint while we're chatting. <laughs> Sheila, you're okay. You hadn't missed much. I'm just putting a coat of paint on the um, pots. This is a four, did I say, yeah, four inch pot. And the sticker actually says 4.3, but I think they measure from the outside to the outside, but the inside is four inches round. How's the weight loss? I've actually lost five pounds. I got on the scale today and I've lost five pounds in a couple of weeks and I'm so excited. Um, yes, I, I, I do, I miss her very much. Um, I have her picture over here in my craft room and I'm actually going, so I was going to tell y'all too, while we're sitting here chatting and I'm painting, Friday night, I will not be live, um, as bad as I hate it, um, Paige is having a bridal shower on Saturday, and I've got to go back home, which is four hours away, to go, oh uh, Donna, to go, um, back to go to her bridal shower. So, I'm going to do that. I got to travel Friday and the shower Saturday, and then I'll come back Saturday night. Um, so, I'll be here for Mother's Day. Okay. So, I'm just giving this a good coat. And this, this Waverly covered it really well, actually. I think acrylic, you might have to have two coats. So, we're going to let that dry, and I'm going to paint this one. Yes, I will, Carla. I will restock the Holiday Gnome. I, I will. It's just between cutting bees and bee gnomes, and it's it gets kind of hairy. Oh, Liz, you're doing keto? I hope it's going well for you. It has for me in the past. And they make so much more now that's keto-friendly, uh, so it's not as hard as it was when I did it years ago. Okay. So, I'm just, um, just giving this a good coat. I hope y'all had a good Monday. And I know Mondays are stressful and it's like starting all over and nobody likes Mondays, but it's a fresh start and a new beginning. Start another week. You got it. You got this. Let's see. So I'm just going around. I haven't ever used the Waverly on uh, terracotta before, but it's doing a really good job. And the wonderful thing about terracotta is it soaks the paint up and it dries really fast. So that's, that's, a, that's in our favor. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the bottom. But you could do this little gnome any size you wanted, you know, as long as you had three different size pots. You could do him much larger than what I'm doing if you wanted to. Yeah, it's very important. I'm gonna go to this. She's having a bridal tea, actually. So I'm going to um, go into that. It's getting close, guys. I got a month. and. My son's getting married. I'm getting a daughter. So, but Paige has been with us for a while. So, it's like she's already family. Okay. Yeah, somebody said something about storms. I know there's storms. Um, some of my people said they had a lot of storms somewhere. I don't know where, though. Monday is just like every day when you're retired. It is, but it is kind of to me, but because I, I work almost every day um, out here at some point. Saturday, I didn't. I took off Saturday and did some stuff for me. But on the weekends, I'm pretty much out here. See how good that covered? It covered it really well. Not any, like, dead spots or... Okay, I got it on my hand. <laughs> Let me check. See, this is almost dry. Just make sure I don't... I didn't miss any little spots because it soaks in so much okay now i'm gonna leave my white paint over here and uh let me move this out of the way okay got your gumball canister from uh, i wish mine would come i ordered it that same day and mine's not here <laughs> corky that's funny <laughs> but you've gained a loss over a thousand pounds <laughs> Probably me too. Okay, so I drew a line here so I would know how far up to paint to where that one will sit down on. But I'm gonna draw his beard. So this is not hard. Um, so you just kinda kinda look at the, you know, look at where you want the front to be. 
And then I'm just gonna kind of, with a pencil, I'm just gonna kind of sketch in where I want his beard to come down on both sides. So I'm just drawing like a wavy line and I'll show it to you in just a second. You know, and if you don't like it, you can always draw over it. See how I just, let's see, you see that one. See how I just did a wavy line down and then I did a wavy line over there? So there's a line here and a line there. And that doesn't necessarily mean I might not go out of the lines. Oh, your Kentucky's getting storms, okay. Yeah, some came through real bad in North Mississippi and Tupelo, I think, got it pretty bad. This terracotta stuff's coming off. Let's see, I'm trying to think what I should paint first. Uh, the blue. Okay, so I'm going to paint his, his body. I'm going to paint it blue, which is, is cobalt blue. It's apple barrel. And I also have co ultramarine blue and deco art, and they're kind of in the same color. How much are the pots at Hobby Lobby? The four inch one was $1.37. I tag your stuff together. $1.37. And then this big one was two thirty seven, so it's not bad at all. It's not bad because my Walmart was totally totally sold out. Uh, that Waverly will probably stick to plastic, but it could scratch off. You have to be careful. If you coat it in Mod Podge after it, it might not. Okay, so I'm gonna get my cobalt blue and get another plate. Oh, nice, Lindy. We're supposed to have storms. See, I, I knew it was supposed to rain, but I didn't know it was supposed to rain like that, like storms. Yes, I'm going to cut watermelon slices, yes. Okay, so I'm going to do my blue. I've got my beard kind of sketched out, and I'm just going to paint the rest of this, this blue. Now, this is cobalt, and you'll see when you paint this that... It soaks up, and you can see the terracotta through the pot. I mean, through the paint, through the pot. <laughs> through the paint, you can see it through the pot. Um, so, I'm just going to roughly paint this because I'm probably going to have to do two coats because, like I said, it's already soaking in. As quick as I can get it on there, it soaks right into that terracotta. And I will be, uh, after you know, after it's dried and probably tomorrow if it's not storming, I'll probably be spraying a coat of clear coat on this just because it's going to be outside. It's going to be under my porch, but I still don't want it, you know, to... Hey, Mary, I still don't want it to get damp and all that stuff. So I will be giving it a good spray with some clear coat, just clear spray I buy at Walmart. Um, if you have outdoor Mod Podge, you could do that. But I probably, it won't be sitting out in the weather, like in the rain and all that stuff. So, he'll be under my covered porch. But this is a, this is going to be patriotic. But we're going to do a little twist to it too, though. Of course, you know I got to have a twist. Got to have a little something different. Walmart is totally out of way. See, I've seen people posting about the Waverly paint and that theirs is selling out of it and putting it on clearance and all this. And mine still has it. Everything's good with Waverly here. And I don't know what's going on. And I hope to God they don't um, quit selling it because I'm going to be disheartened. Now it makes me want to go out and buy a whole bunch like we tried to do when the pandemic came. <laughs> Trying to get all of the Waverly paint because we couldn't get it. Sirens going off in Texas. Oh my, so that must be what's coming toward us if you're in Texas. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm not painting over my beard where I drew my beard off. See how pretty this blue is? And it's 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 bright blue, but when it dries, it's a little darker. So you always have to keep that in mind when you got have acrylic paint. It's going to dry just a touch darker than the what the bottle shows it is. And especially on this terracotta, it's going to be a little darker. So I'm just kind of roughly following my little beard line right here. Let's see. Not trying to be exact, but you get the gist of it. I'm just trying to, whoop. Because that white will paint right over it. But see, by the time I get finished with this side, the other side's going to be dry. 
Yay, Nina, you got your happy mail today. I gotta do some happy mail. We're gonna do happy mail tonight. We're gonna draw for the uh, choice of your set of something out of my shop. We're gonna do that in just a little bit. Now, see that side's already dry that I've started with. So I'm just gonna kinda go back over it and give it a good solid coat. So I think y'all can do this. Anybody can do this. It's not hard at all. See how pretty blue that is? After I put the second coat on, it kinda shows. Yeah, ours has Waverly paint too, but it's not on sale and it's not on clearance. But I see a lot of people saying that it's, um, thank you, Melanie, that it's, um, that they're, Walmart's clearancing it all out. I wonder, maybe, maybe we're gonna say they're changing the label and they're selling all the ones in the old label. Is that what we're gonna say? So, because we don't want them to quit selling it. Something in my paint. So, second coat goes on really quickly because you just kind of hit the high parts. So, I'm not painting all the way up. There's no sense in it because you're not gonna see it. So, I'm just going to Put the second coat on and then we got to paint his beard and then we're going to get to the hat that's the fun part okay so laurie okay so maybe that's what it is that's what we're going to say that they're changing the label and they're clearance it i mean why would they clearance it out i don't understand but hey kudos for those people that are getting it at clearance price that's awesome because y'all know it can get expensive Oh, Jane, thank you. I enjoy doing this too. I enjoy ch chatting with y'all. And y'all are my friends, my internet friends. Okay. This dries really fast on here. No waiting for this to dry. Okay. So there's my blue. And there's where my beard's gonna go somewhat. Um, Let me put that away. I'm just gonna kinda just hit it a little bit. I got a glop of paint right there. And I covered my, I put paper on my table and I didn't even center it. I don't even know what I was thinking. I know they can't discontinue our paint. I will be saddened. <laughs> it's not marked down. Yeah, maybe they'll mark it down for all of us so we can get some good and cheap and then they'll change the label and it'll come out. So see how pretty blue that is? I'm just kind of get it a little dry. Okay. And this over here is just, I had a little glob right there. Alright. And of course, y'all know I'm get it on my fingers. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. Alright. Let me let me scroll and find somebody. We'll go way back. Christine, and I cannot say that name, Jack, Jack, Zach, Zadorsny. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that. So Christine, um, she said, I love that color on you. Let me write this down, cause goodness, I don't know how to pronounce that. Zador. If you'll message me, I will send you one of these for happy mail in the mail. So message me. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll back down. Okay. Two distributors. Okay. So now I'm gonna get my white, my white Waverly again. Piece of string. Um, there's Christine. <laughs> she said pretty color. Okay. So now I'm just gonna kind of roughly go and paint where my beard is. And if I get over on the blue, it'll just cover it right back up. So I'm not too worried about it. That's why I wanted to do the blue first. So that little guide was just kind of a rough outline of where I'm going. Yeah, this is this was cobalt blue from Apple Barrel. And they do have outdoor paint. They have, um, if you go like to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere, they have patio paint or terracotta paint, but I'm just using regular old craft paint and uh, I'm gonna clear coat the whole thing real good with a clear coat of spray paint. 
and it'll be fine for me rather than buying all this fancy paint. Okay. And I'm gonna turn them around and show them to y'all. So I'm just kind of just wiggling my paintbrush as I go down and making the outline of his little beard. And using up all this white. It's getting darker here. I don't know if it's about to rain or what, but I know it's supposed to rain. Yeah, I love the blue too. Okay. All right, so here's the beard, roughly. Ta-da! Looks kind of straight, doesn't it? Let me go over here and make it, make it a little wider. So it's easily, easily fixable. See, it doesn't look real wide. So I'm just gonna go over here and add some on the sides and make it a little wider. You really can't mess it up. So there, that's better. See? Okay, there's his beard. So I'm gonna let this dry. Now we're gonna do the, the fun part. This is the part I'm nervous about because I was sitting here trying to figure out how this is gonna come together. Because as y'all know, if you've ever done anything with something that's tapered, you can't get straight lines, okay? Bad storms in South Carolina. It must just be all moving over. Ida, you got four of those cups for 99 cents? Girl, that's the steal of the century. Okay, so now I will be gluing these together and I'm not sure that I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm probably gonna do it now. And if, if it comes apart in the heat, which this is not gonna be going anywhere, being picked up, moved around, um, I'll go back in with some E6000, but I am out of E6000. So my husband borrowed it and used it, and I don't have a lot. So I'm just going to use my good old hot glue and put some hot glue on it and get them to stay together. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I've been sitting here for probably 30 minutes or more trying to figure out how to... I'm going to make stripes, red and white stripes, which is already white, so I just need to do the red. Thank you for the stars. Bad storms. Everybody's having bad storms. It's just that time of the year, isn't it? Okay. So, I'm, and I'm hoping that this does not take off my white paint. The cups, these cups. Oh, and y'all got to see the hats that Darlene sent me. Look how stinking cute. Um, they're in my Amazon store. Um, they're just like little hot cocoa mugs. Some of, two of them have chocolate, two of them don't. And people put them on their tier trays and they pair them with Ray Dunn a lot and they make little hats for them like this. And then you get obsessed with having hats for all the different themes and whatever. Um, look at this one. This one is pink lemonade. <laughs> is that not so adorable? Isn't that cute? Okay. And then there's a lemon and another lemonade. So this is the hard part because... Like I said, when you go to put this tape straight down, it wants to go to the side and it's it's weird. I don't I can't explain it. I guess because it's tapered. So I'm going to put my tape and probably draw me some lines and take it off. Wow. That's crazy that you got the mugs for that much. Ah, okay. So see, I've got it, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second when I start telling you about it going straight down. Okay, it's going straight down, which it looks like it's going straight down, but then I look at it and I'm like, well, maybe it's not. So, anywho, I'm going to go directly across on the other side and do it directly across like this. And I'm probably just going to draw some pencil lines and then paint on the inside of that. Okay. And you think it's straight, but then when you go to look at it, it's not. It's like, what? It's like a mind game or something. Okay, so I got one on that side, one on that side. It's just regular old masking tape from Dollar Tree. 
the hats are adorable. Um, Darlene Gratton, she is here somewhere, and she's in the group. You can message her, and she'll be glad to make them for you. And she can, she got a better price than anybody else on the internet. I can promise, because they are expensive. One hat on Etsy is like sixteen dollars. That's crazy. And when she came along, I was like, oh, Darlene, I need some hats. <laughs> Okay, so I got her started making hats because I was like, oh my gosh, you can crochet? These are the cutest things ever. You gotta see them. Okay. All right, so now I've got that one, that one, and that one, okay? Now I'm gonna do another one directly across from that one. So hopefully they're all kind of even. Yeah, the pink lemonade, there's a lime too. I just got them in the mail, and I need a cup for all my hats so I can show all my hats. Oh, I need to make some more dice ones is what I need to do. And she does make the hats for the dice ones, too, because she just leaves out a couple of stitches to make them a little tighter. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to get it down. All right. So, I'm basically just going to use this as my guide and draw my little lines with my pencil so I'll know exactly, you know, rough, roughly where my stripes need to be. Because I can't get them exactly straight because of these little dips. And it may not be perfect, but I'm going with it. I'm not going to worry about perfection. We ain't got time for that. Nobody got time for that. gives it a little character when it's not. So I'm just taking my pencil and I'm just drawing right next to my tape is all I'm doing. And then I'm gonna take the tape off. Cause you can't get it to stick. I mean, you could if you probably tried. Oh look, there, it erases really good on that white too. Didn't know that. But I thank y'all for watching and being here and chatting with me. It was in the news. So yeah, I see Tammy just posted about the group. If you're not in the free group, it's awesome. There's like 11,300 people in there, talented people. And now we're seeing puppy dogs because, you know, I did that little puppy dog uh, Friday night that I just love. And I put them back there. Can y'all see them? And y'all, they are so cute. Everybody's dogs are so cute. Okay. Trying to stick into my paper. Okay. Now, I just have some rough stripes. I'll show it to you. So you can see, they're just rough, but I know exactly where I'm going to paint my red. Okay? I'll put this guy over here. So I'm going to get my red. Let's get this plate. And paint some red. Oh, thank you, Kathy. So this is Anita's tomato red. It's really bright. It's, it's a little bit brighter than their true red. Yeah, you got your bean now ordered. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna find me a big paintbrush so I can get a good coverage and get a good wide so it doesn't take me as many. So look how cute this is gonna be. But y'all got to wait for the extra little surprise. I have to do it last, and you'll see why. Then we're going to add to his hat. What is in the water cup? The, this water? This water? What? Water cup? I don't know what she's talking about. So my stripes are going to be all kind of ziggy-zaggy, wonky. Um... Now, if I was sitting here by myself doing it, I would probably be a little bit more take my time kind of thing. But I'm okay. Just dragging my paintbrush down. I turned my air down in here and it still got hot. All right. All right, so here is 
One red stripe. <laughs> oh, you're making more flowers, Jen? I know, they are so pretty. A lot of people are doing it for Mother's Day. I saw a lady in the group and she did it for uh, Mother's Day for her church and did them like for, I can't remember how many hundreds she had cut and so, but it was a lot. It was a whole lot. Okay. That cup on top. This, oh, this is just a flower pot from Dollar Tree. This one, it's just a little flower pot from Dollar Tree. A three inch flower pot. But if you go to Walmart or something, just take your flower pots down and stack them up and see if they're all gonna fit together. I don't have a steady hand either, Debbie, so um, don't think that mine's all straight. I'll show y'all. It's going to be all wonky and crooked. But I'm just kind of using that pencil line as a guide. So I'll, I'll know. Because if I tried to do it freehand, it would be this way. <laughs> it would be wopsided. I envy people that can paint straight and all that good stuff. Because I cannot. Okay. So you'll see. Mine's a little wonky. See, it's out of the lines. Diane, it's, it's, it is easy, but now, like I said, do you see how wonky that is? Look at that out of the line there. See? It's not perfect, I promise. <laughs> uh, I promise, it's not perfect. But if you get way out of the lines, you can always go back and fix it. I'm just trying not to go way out of the line. But the tape, if you if you get to doing this, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll think you'll have that tape straight. And because it's tapered, it it I don't know. It doesn't want to do it doesn't want to do if it was straight, straight up and down side. It the tape does not want to stay straight. It starts going this direction. It's I don't know, it's weird. Just the shape of the pot. Now I went wonky on this one. This one's not straight at all, but it's okay. We're not worried about perfection. Gives it some character. One more to paint. And then we're going to get to the fun part. Woo! See, that one was bad. <laughs> it's, all, it's all doing the wave. But I guess maybe his hat's a little, you know, creased or something. Yeah, if you were to buy it for $25, <laughs> I'll show y'all something in a minute. Y'all know those, um, the little gnome statues that they have at Dollar General? The little statues that you can put in your garden? I bought one the other day, and I have it sitting right here. And I brought it home because, you know, they're painted so bad, they just slap the paint on on all those little places. And so, I already did one. I bought it at Dollar General, and I painted it the colors I wanted it to be. <laughs> And uh, he turned out really cute, actually. But there, his paint is just, like, thrown on there. I don't have a steady hand, I promise. It's all... Wonkus. Is that a name? Wonkus? Wonkus. It's all Wonkus. Be sure to get under that little edge right there. Now... Okay, got all of them done, but I promise they're not straight. I'm just gonna kinda hit some high parts where it's starting to dry. Okay, I know I'm gonna get red paint on my white somewhere. It's just gonna happen. I wore this shirt. It has a stain up here. And I wore this specifically because if I got paint on it, I wasn't going to be worried, too worried about it. Because I got something on it. Okay, so here's our hat. I'm going to put my paintbrush over here. It's blowing it. Yeah, the hat's blowing in the wind. My words crack me up. Crack you up. I have to make up words. Wonkus. It's not, it's not, see from a distance, it's not bad at all. Hey, Terry from Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi, too. Mississippi in the house. Caddy Wonkus. That's it. 
That's a true word, Caddy Wonkus. Not Wampus, but Wonkus. Yes. <laughs> they look pretty straight to you. They're not. Okay, I'm just going to get it dry so I won't mess it up for the next part. See, I got, I'm going to get it on my white. Just as sure as I'm sitting here. All right. Whew, I know I'm going to get it on there. So y'all can just let yours dry and come back to it when y'all do this or try it. And you can do yours any color you want to. But okay, let's just try it on his head to see how he's going to look so far. So here he is with his little stripes. Ta-da, he looks so cute. Okay, but we're not done. But see that glue's holding it pretty good, but now the Mississippi heat, it might come apart. And I may have to E6000 it. How do you do this so fast? I don't know, Jeanette. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Big paintbrush. Um, anyway, all right, let's pick another person. Oh, where'd my comments go? Where'd they go? There they go. It stops on so-and-so's watching. Donna Deskins. Donna, it says Larry and Donna Deskins, actually. It's probably not Larry. It's probably Donna. Deskin, D-E-S-K-I-N-S. If you'll message me, I will send you, message my page, I'll send you some happy mail. And send me your address. Go back. I think I got paint on my elbow. <laughs> oh, Bible school meeting. I like Bible school. I would like to do the crafts in Bible school. And I didn't carry my stripes over to the top, but I'm not stressing. Okay, so for the next part... This is the fabric that I went to Hobby Lobby for that day, and I found the, a, the, a remnant of this exact fabric that I went after. And so, I measured the width of this band right here, because this is going to be like the band of his hat, and I cut it. It's actually an inch. So, I'm going to Mod Podge it onto the, the brim of his hat. So let's see, cause I was gonna paint it blue and I was trying to figure out, okay, how am I gonna get it stars on it? Cause God knows I can't draw a star. It looked like the ones we did in elementary school. Um, no, Kathy, the big pot, this came from Hobby Lobby. It was 237, I think it was. And then this one was Hobby Lobby and it was 137 and this was one of the Dollar Tree ones. Oh, <laughs> you're funny, I make you laugh. Okay, so now I'm going to figure out where the front of his hat's going to be. My straightest lines. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the back. So I'm going to start here. So I cut it exactly the width of that. And my blues aren't going to match because um, I actually thought that blue was going to look a little bit darker on the pot, and it's not. But anyway, it's going to be okay. So I'm just going to put a little Mod Podge out here on my plate. And just paint it on that brim and get this started. But yes, you can Mod Podge fabric too. It's awesome. So it just kind of hit me. Oh gosh, do the do some fabric. That'd be cool. And then I won't have to worry about painting stars because my stars would look like they were sick or something. And I don't, probably couldn't get a stencil to lay down <laughs> flat enough. Yeah, I use hot glue, but um, I'll probably have to go back and use E6000, but I don't have any. Because my husband you came in here and used some of it. So my tube is down to, my tube is down to this. See my key? It's almost at the very, <laughs> and I, start, I couldn't get it get started earlier. I was going to get it started before I came on live, and it, I couldn't get it to come out, so I was like, oh, well, I'll just do without it. I got to get some more. Welcome, Peggy. If you're new, I see where somebody says Peggy's new, and they're welcoming Peggy. So I'm just painting my Mod Podge and just going around. And my blues are definitely not going to match, but I can always go back over it with something else if I want to. Okay, this is going to look so cute on my back porch for the 4th. It's 
gonna look adorable. Okay. And of course I gotta get the string that's wanting to come out of the fabric. Okay. All right. So now I'm all the way in the back. Where's my scissors? I couldn't fix those scissors I broke the other night. They were just, I don't know. They went to the garbage. I was like, I ain't, I'm not fooling with it. I tried to fix them and that didn't work. I said, this it's just a dollar. I'll throw them in the garbage. Okay. I'm gonna cut this string. It's wanting to ravel. But once I get it clear coated or whatever, I'll probably go back after the live and Mod Podge over that to get to make it stay better. Um, so there is my hat. See how cute that is? And my blues aren't gonna match, guys. Y'all think I need to go over it with navy? Oh, cute puppies with your grandkids. Y'all think I need to go back and paint him navy? What do y'all think? Or is he gonna look okay like that? Because I can grab the navy. Marie, the keys are in my Amazon storefront. The keys are awesome. If y'all wanna know what she's talking about, these keys right here, you put it on your E6000 and you just roll it all up till it's gone. Yeah, I think the fabric looks good too. So what do y'all think? Should I paint this? Should I go back and paint over this with navy to match this blue or leave it like this? What do y'all think? Because my blues don't match. Let's see what y'all think. I know it's a delay, so I'm waiting. No, it looks good like that, Judy. Y'all think the colors look okay? Even though it's not matching? Okay, everybody likes the variation of the blue. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with a little brush somewhere. This one is, look. <laughs> I left Mod Podge on it. Like a week ago. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bitty brush and I'm just gonna get some gray. This is graphite by Craftsmart and I'm gonna do some highlights in his beard. I got strings stuck to my fingers. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably put a little bit of white on my brush, not Mod Podge. Y'all, can you tell the difference between the Mod Podge and the white paint? Nope, <laughs> it looks the same. I almost stuck it in a Mod Podge. And I'm going to get a little white on my paintbrush and then just get a little gray and kind of mix it up. And then I'm just going to kind of make him some little wispies over on the side of his beard. It's all about the details. And I'm just kind of outlining. So it's not such a harsh gray. It's just going to be a little white and a little gray together. So it kind of softens it up a little bit. So I'm just making some little, his little beard, little squigglies in his beard. I guess that's what you call it. Wavy hair, something. And he is almost done guys. Can y'all believe it came together this fast? I was thinking it was gonna take longer than this. But you could make these smaller if you wanted to. You can make them bigger. Okay, that looks better, doesn't it? Look at it, it's cute. I stuck it in the Mod Podge again. I'm just kinda hitting some high parts and doing some little wispies here and there so he doesn't look so Man, that look cute okay so now i've got to put his hat on let's find the back of the hat where my fabric meets together i can't even find it there it is and so he's got to have a nose
Alright, I'm fixing to I'm fixing to meld these two together. Okay. Like I said, if it comes apart in the Mississippi heat, I'll just go back and, and E6000 it. So if you do one, you probably want to E6000 if it's going to be outside because that heat is probably going to melt this glue. But we're going to see. So I just put glue all the way around the inside. And we got to get it to sit down there and get it kind of straight because sometimes they want to rock. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, replay is your friend. Okay, so I gotta get this little string. Okay, so there that is. Look how stinking cute he is. Oh, Terry, you're okay. We're making a terracotta gnome. Okay, so this is a big split ball. Um, you can use you can use whatever you want to. If you have that clay that I use all the time, I forgot what I did with my other split balls. If you use that clay that I use all the time, you can make a nose. You don't even have to do that. Find something else to make a nose with. Styrofoam ball, you can make a nose with. Anything like that. Um, so, that's what I'm using. This is a big one. I don't even know how big it is. I don't even know where it came from. Probably Hobby Lobby. I didn't use pat patio paint, yeah, Elizabeth. I use regular clear acrylic paint, but I'm going to spray spray it with clear coat when I'm done, probably after it finish, finishes raining here for the next few days. This one is almost an inch and a half. So I'm going to glue that on his front, on his nose. But if you wanted to, to Mod Podge fabric all over him, you could do that too. It does so well on terracotta. All right, so gonna go right there so we're gonna this is gonna be the test to see if this glue holds in the Mississippi heat yes Becky I would have I just didn't have um, I don't have very much e6000 left and I was fighting with the tube couldn't get it to come out because it stopped up down in there because my husband used it. But if it comes apart, I will, um, he'll probably sit back here for a while. Um, and then if he comes apart, I'll just put E6000 and glue him right back on. Because the misty heat is killer. Okay, y'all ready? He is so stinking adorable. <laughs> I just love him. He is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. And I wish I had some, like, of that stuff from the Dollar Tree that's the tinsely looking stuff for 4th of July. And you could have it coming out of his hat and make it like a, you know, like a firework or something. But I didn't have any because my Dollar Tree has not put any of that out yet. Um, but you could definitely put some stuff coming out of that hole right there. And I'll probably come back in and finish the red up top. But is that not cute? A pom-pom, Janelle. Yes, I could do a pom-pom for his hat. I could do a pom-pom with this fabric and some red and white fabric and put a big pom-pom up here. You can do all kinds of stuff. You could put those flowers, make some of those patriotic flowers and it's sticking, you know, sticking down in there. Um, and I know y'all got some fabric probably because I know y'all been doing fl uh, the flowers. So you probably have some patriotic because I've seen a bunch of patriotic flowers. <laughs> he needs a little, a fly. Whoever said that's brilliant because I just happen to have it laying over here. Look how cute. I'm see oh look, he'll go, it'll go all the way down into the both holes. <laughs> if I'm not careful. Look how cute. Yeah, but you know those little tinsely things that's got this. This stuff. I gotta get some of that. See? Wouldn't that look cute coming out of his hat? See, look. Wouldn't that look adorable? It would be so cute. Mine hasn't even put any out yet. You got patriotic paper hats at the Dollar Tree. Oh, those little ones. I've seen them, but not at my Dollar Tree. 
But yeah, those little sparkly little things, wouldn't that just be cute sticking out of there? He'd look all, um, he would look all patriotic then. Oh, pipe cleaners. I got pipe cleaners. Look at y'all. See, y'all are brilliant. I need y'all. <laughs> Look how cute, though. But see, Miss Darlene makes these if you have the mug or the dice. She'll make them for either one. But isn't it cute? Um, and look how stinking adorable it is. Put some of that stuff out of it in one of these. And, you know, people at your 4th of July party is going to be like, Oh, where'd you get that? No, he's so cute. I made him. <laughs> Do y'all like to say that? Oh, I made him. Yeah, the fireworks stuff. That's so cute. I would have ran over there and got some, but I know they don't have it. Oh, I could have made him like this. I could paint him a little hand on there. Y'all need to paint, him a, paint a hand on there and make him hold it like that. That is so cute. Whoever said that? <laughs> yeah, Nancy said, who's making one of these now? But you don't have to make him big. Make him, you know, do a four and a three and then a two. You could definitely do that too. You don't have to make him this big. I just decided to, you know, I was in Hobby Lobby and I was playing with the pots and I was like, oh, I need some that fits on top of each other and I was changing them out. Michael's has pots too. They have pots all the time too, like Hobby Lobby does. But yeah, the sparkly things definitely can go in here when I get some. <laughs> when my Dollar Tree put some out. But look how cute it is. And you don't even have to have the nose. You could just paint on the nose. But, um, but see how cute he is? Look. <laughs> that, that is easy, guys. And you can do your stripes this way if you wanted to. I was just like, I know me, and my stripes would have been going down. It would look like a barber pole when I got done. <laughs> it wouldn't have been straight. And then I'd have been mad because it would be like all wonky. But isn't he cute? Oh, they have stars in the party section. Okay, I'm going to have to go look. Yeah, take the clay. We can make a little hand to hold the flag. That would be so stinking cute. See, y'all are awesome. Make a whole known family, Debbie. That's right. We'll have, you know, we'll have Uncle Sam, and then we'll have Aunt Betty. <laughs> and the little bitty Uncle Sam's. Oh, paint the hand. I could cute and glue it right on there is the pots in the flower area so the in Hobby Lobby if you'll go back to where the grapevine wreaths are which there's a, evidently a shortage on grapevine wreaths they are back there on they were on the bottom by the floor in mine and then in Michael's they're back there where the glass is and the flowers and all that they're in the back of the store Yes, you could use the galvanized little pails they have at Dollar Tree. You could use those too. Anything, anything like that. But he's perfect for outside. But I am going to, I probably Mod Podge over this. And I'm going to clear coat it with clear spray paint. But he's going to be under my porch. I'm not going to put him outside, like in the weather. But any, Betsy Ross, there you go, Brenda. We'll have Uncle Sam, Betsy Ross, and then little babies, some. Little baby eagles, I don't know. Um, oh, hey, Mary Beth. I hope you stick around and follow me. Isn't he cute? But anyway, but I may come in here with my pen and I might draw some little accents and who knows what. Yeah, if you got some pots in your pot and shed, go out there and get them out. Give them a good scrubbing with a brush and paint them. You'll never know. Yeah, I use masking tape to do my lines, but it won't stick because of this bump here so i just drew mine with the tape and then pulled it off yeah i know you wouldn't know there were flower pots but look how stinking cute but it is a flower pot Ta -da! you could hide something under there <laughs> oh you could put him on your counter at home and hide your candy under there and the kids will never know oh you're all right karen okay i'm gonna pick one more name Scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, I hit it and my comments go away. What happened? Y'all, there they are. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Frida Huffman Sanders, if you will message me 
Um, I will send you one of those metal trucks, let's see, as Happy Mail. Let me write your name. Okay, one of these. Ta-da! So send, message my page and send me your um, address and it will come to your house. Okay, so now, I almost forgot, I got so excited about my gnome. We're gonna draw a name for the something something jar. And if you like my little jar or tin or whatever it is, I did this on a live too, how I did it. I covered it with uh, popsicle sticks and Mod Podge that truck on there and painted it. It's been a couple of months ago. Yeah, Lowe's has pots too. <laughs> you know, I put, need to put my candy in, you can't find. I'm gonna take the lid off. Okay, so I got all these names. I got caught up and put all the names in there. And I'm gonna see them in there. And I'm gonna draw a name and see who it is. Oh, there's two. Connie Hoisington. Connie Hoisington, message me and you will get happy mail of um, a set out of my shop, whichever, whatever you choose. Um, so message me, I will make a post with her name too, so, so she'll see it. Um, this truck, it was some fabric that I got at Walmart during like spring Easter time. And um, I cut the truck out and Mod Podged it on in a bunch of little hearts. And then um, these are the big craft sticks and I stained them and whitewashed them and glued them all the way around. It's just a, it was a Christmas, Christmas tin. You can still see it's red. And I painted the top, had a knob, a, a clearance knob at, from Hobby Lobby and put it through there and made me a little jar jar. See, isn't that cute? But you don't even have to put the truck on there. You could just do it like you wanted to. And it's so cute. See, it's still got the Goodwill sticker on the bottom. $1.99. <laughs> Terrible. I didn't take it. So, Connie has won her a set. And how you get in the jar is if you uh, sprinkle. And I'll go back a couple of days from now. Because people that's watching the replay will get their shot too. And I'll go back and get uh, scroll down the names of everybody who sprinkled. Because I can look and see who did. And I pick, uh, just randomly scroll and stop on one. And, um... And then I put three names after every live. Oh, they had it on clearance, Liz. Wow, at your Walmart, awesome. It's real cute fabric, too, with that truck. So, yeah, it was a live I did a couple of months ago. So, if you want to see that one, you can scroll back. They're titled, the videos. And how you get to the videos is if you go to my main page... And there's a button up there that says photos. If you click the photo button, it'll drop down a menu and it'll say videos, something else, something. I don't know. Because Facebook's changed everything. So if you click photos, it'll drop down, hit videos, and it'll show you the whole library of everything I've ever done. And it's been only a couple of months ago. Oh, thank you, Brenda. You're sweet. Um... Yeah, so happy Mother's Day to everybody because I won't see y'all Friday. I got to go to that uh, shower on Saturday for my soon-to-be daughter-in-law. Uh, so I got to travel back home. And uh, I'm going to miss y'all so much. But y'all know if I go shopping, I'm going to take pictures and send y'all stuff. But I ain't going to be there that long. Oh, what I repainted. Okay, here he is. He was red. And his coat was green so I sat here and painted him I don't know a week ago and this is my turquoise color that I like and then this is called flamingo I don't know flamingo coral or something and so I painted him and he's got to be clear coated and this was dark dark brown and I painted him with mineral from Waverly and then I wiped the wax over it so the letters would come out really good because they're kind of engraved in there but he looks so much better and I just accented his beard with some gray in the little grooves but yeah he was he was all messed up painted so if you get one of these from Dollar General and you decide to repaint it my tip to you is paint it white first 
just paint the whole thing white. And, um, <laughs> Jennifer, I, I might come on Thursday. I'm gonna try, I'll try to. I've got to make something for the wedding this week, and I'm cutting and all that. So, I'll try to come on Thursday night. No promises, but I'll try. Um, so anyway, so paint him solid white would be my thing because like on his boots and stuff, the black paint, it was all up, all up here and it, it, you know, they just kind of throw the paint on it. They don't really paint it good, but I spent a good hour sitting here painting him. I had a lot of fun, but your paint will cover better if you paint it white first and then paint him. So if I had to do it again, that's what I'll do. I'll paint it white first and then go over it. But if I've had people ask me what color I use for the flesh, and it is Craft Smarts Coral. So if you want to screenshot that, that's my color that I use for um, like his nose and that kind, his hands and stuff. That's just a good flesh tone color for me. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, you repaint all yours, Kay? I bet that's fun, though, to get them all out and give them a fresh coat and make them look all brand new again. So, I'll clear coat him, too, probably at the same time I do this one. So, I'll um, protect the paint because, no, it's not. I think this was multi-surface on his hat, and this was just regular craft paint. So, but he'll be under the porch. Happy Mother's Day to you, Linda. Thank you. And thank y'all for sprinkling it. I don't think there was anything else I had to say to y'all. Um, no, but yeah, I won't be live Friday night. I'm sorry. I gotta go see Paige. Leslie, I, yeah, if I had to do it again, I probably would use chalk paint. But just be careful not to get you some clumped up stuff in the corners and just be sure it's a, you know, kind of a thin coat. Oh, wow, Darlene, 30 years. Happy anniversary. See, look, there he, there's the tag on the bottom. It was $4 at Dollar General, and I just got him like a week ago. So, um, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, $4. But anytime you see anything like this, Goodwill, whatever, take it home. Paint, paint, paint works wonders. He was cute like he was, but I just wanted to make him my colors. I wanted I wanted some summery, nice, happy colors. He was red and green, which is fine. But I wanted some nice, happy, summery colors. But he's really cute. But his hat is like textured looking. So you could even wipe wax over that and make it those little indentions pop out even more. There's so much you could do. So just because you see it and you don't like the colors in the store, paint it. Oh, I will. I'll enjoy it. I enjoy it. I can't wait to see what all she gets. They've gotten so much stuff already because they've already had a couple of showers. And I'm like, where are y'all going to put all this stuff? So I'm going to hop off. Thank y'all for watching. If you watch the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Um, like I said, easy peasy. Make him a different size if you want to. Paint him a different color. Paint him these colors if you want to. I started to, but I decided I'd go patriotic. Um, well, happy 31st, Janelle, and happy Mother's Day to all of you, and I'll miss y'all Friday night. If I can, I'll come on Thursday. Um, so y'all have a good week and a good weekend, and if not, I will see y'all Monday, same place, same time. I'm just reading y'all's comments. Oh, every time you see a gnome, you think about me. That's funny. I love them, man. I love my gnomes. All right, y'all have a safe week and a weekend too, and I'm going to hop off, and I will talk to y'all later. Good night, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.